Hey guys, so we are out at the Manassas battlefield today. I'm out on a walk with some friends from my church and we are going to visit a few different sites. We're on what's known as Henry Hill right now. And that right out there in front of us is called the Henry House. If you know anything about the Civil War, the Henry House should bring back some, some memories for you. Jude, her name was Judith Henry. She was an elderly lady. I believe she was invalid. She could not move, walk around on her own. And she lived in the predecessor to the to current house that's standing there right now. <clears throat> and the north and the south basically fought from either side of her house against each other. <clears throat> and her house was literally destroyed, just blown to bits. Well, a cannonball went through the through her bedroom and took off part of her leg, part of her foot, uh, and she ended up dying of of uh, infection a, a day or two or something like that later. Um, <clears throat> and she is buried in the yard of the Henry House here. Well, after the war, one of her family members rebuilt the house, uh, and I believe they lived in it again for you know, a number of years later. That's what we're approaching right now. And we'll do a quick walk around. I can see the uh, the little cemetery, little family cemetery to the left of the house up there. You can see all these, all these cannons out here in the yard. <laughs> you can imagine, can you imagine having lived through something like this that two armies are fighting and your house is right in the middle and you're in the crossfire. And what a horrible, terrifying situation to be in. Cannot imagine the way the, the lady felt in this house when that when this uh, cannon started firing, guns started firing. And again, this is not the house that, that uh, was damaged in the war that house was was torn down it was just rubble after the battle <clears throat> souvenir hunters and all that came and took a lot of bits and pieces away now, this is the rebuilt henry house of course our national park service does a really good job of keeping it up keeping it looking good. Little remained of the Henry House by the time this photo was taken in March 1862. The current structure is post-war. And this is what the house looked like after the battle. There we go. It was 18, July 21, 1861 is when the original house was, was damaged in the battle. This was put up years and years ago, this monument out here. And this sign shows, actually shows a, is a photo of the, let's see, the formal dedication of the Bull Run Mountain, Bull Run Monument on June 11, 1865. At the conclusion of the ceremony on Henry Hill, the group dedicated a similar monument near the deep cut to honor those that fell in the second battle of Manassas. So 1865 is when this thing was dedicated. In memory of the patriots who fell at Bull Run, July 21, 
Now we'll go over here and see the little family cemetery. Judith Henry right there in the middle. <clears throat> Hugh Fauntleroy Henry, son of Isaac and Judith Henry, died 1898, aged, it looks like 36 years. Ellen Phoebe Morris, daughter of Isaac and Judith Henry, died 1888, aged 81 years. 81. This is probably 86 years, most likely. 40 years of his life were spent school teaching. Yeah, that's an 86 years, not 36. My mistake. But there is the lady who was killed in the house that day in 1861. <clears throat> I'm not sure who Wade Hampton was. But obviously he was important enough to get a sign of his own. Wade Hampton, South Carolina, wounded here on July 21, 1861. Battle First Manassas. So, we'll do a quick turnaround here. I do see another sign over here. We'll take a peek at that one. Colonel Cameron of the 79th New York Regiment was killed here on July 21, 1861. By the way, I don't know if you can see that or not. But in the center, right there at the tip of my finger is the Stone House. If you're familiar with Manassas Battlefield, that's the stone house. That's, that's a, a major place of operations in the Civil War. <clears throat> All right, we're going to move on, see what else we see out here today. Let's see how this cannon was aimed. looking right down the barrel of this gun and I'm looking at two guns three, four five I see a series of cannons right out there right along that edge there are cannons there and this would be looking across the battlefield you imagine thousands of soldiers out there a pointing guns right back here at where we're standing See what this sign down here says. The Marines of sixty one. Second Lieutenant Robert E. Hitchcock was the first Marine Corps officer killed in the Civil War, struck down by Confederate artillery fire on Henry Hill. And that is Henry Hill. Moving along. So this sign on the walking tour, the flight from Matthews Hill, this shows the, this is a painting of the countryside right in front of us. You can see the stone house right there and the hill and the intersection. And what we're looking at is that right there. And you can see the stone house right out there. And we're walking down that direction. Right here we are at the stone house now. Made our way down, down the hill. interesting part of this house is that there are still cannonballs embedded in the walls that hit this thing and they've kept them here all these years Let's see if I can find one or two of them it's the old well I believe 
that is one right there. Some sort of a projectile. Here's one right here. And for a size comparison, that's my hand to the size of the ball there. There's another cannonball on the wall up here. That was a good capture right there. Right up there in the center of the picture. The Union General was up there in the top of that hill. This was used as a peek in this window here on the opposite side. This house has changed configuration a number of times over its couple hundred years of, of uh, being in existence. At one point, this was an inn <coughs> tavern along, along the highway, along 29 right there. So people could stop in and get a, a meal and a, a bed to sleep in for the night. Let's go see what the sign up here says. Battlefield of Bull Run or First Manassas, July 21, 1861. <clears throat> Confederates under General Beauregard defeated Federals under General McDowell. General Jackson, given name of Stonewall, on this field. Generals B and Bartow killed. Old Stone House used as a hospital. This marker erected July 21, 1928. idea of the, the highway traffic right here that was a major intersection even for horses and buggies back then before we move on I wanted to catch this sign right here this is the house in March of 1862 right there that's what it looked like Now we're heading up that hill right there to keep going on our walk. Here we go. So from the top of the hill here, looking down the other direction. So up there you can see the Henry house at the top of the hill on the other side. But as a teenager, I used to sled down this hill. Now that fence was not there at that time. And so we could fly all the way down into the yard of the house itself there you go the stone house and we are moving on on our walk so we are on a walk of the battlefield today going to visit a few of the sites along the walking tour uh, pathway and it's a little bit just about 50 degrees outside so that's why I got my coat in my hand not as cold as the other day when I was over at the Ball Family Cemetery and it was 25 out. That was a little chilly. Today, we're kind of sweating as we walk along here. But now I, I understand why some people come out here looking for a little bit of solitude. 
and they can just uh, walk these trails. I hear jets over my head because we're not far from Dulles Airport. If you're familiar with Washington, D.C. airports, Dulles is not far. But we're, uh, we're just going to stop along the way at a couple of the different sites that are on this path. And I will video each one as we hit them. At the end, I'll put it all together and give you kind of a walking tour of this section of the battlefield. Here we go. So we're approaching another historical sign here. It says, Blocking the Union Advance. First Battle of Manassas, 1861, July 21, 1861, 10.30 in the morning. And we are headed up that hill right there. So we have arrived at the next site that we are gonna come to. This is called Pittsylvania. There used to be a mansion standing here. This was the cellar, part of the cellar, of course. But that mansion stood across this ground right here. It was built in 1765 and it burned down in 1862. The man who built this house, uh, if you recall Henry House, the video, the part of the video earlier in this when we first started, the lady who was killed in her home on Henry Hill, this was her father's home right here. This was where he had built, <clears throat> and she ended up dying in a house um, only a couple of miles from where we're standing right now. So this is the historical sign on Pennsylvania, what it did look like at one point. I want to count the grass, man. <laughs> But the Carter Cemetery is out here as well. Um, we're gonna take a walk and see if we can see that. Um, I don't know if there's any real stones left in here, but <clears throat> now here's some here's some ruins of the house again. The uh, piles of rock here. This <laughs> that would have originally been part of a house. It is long since gone nearly 150 years ago. And again, just like the, uh, the Ball Family Cemetery, there are no openings in this wall. None, it's just solid stone all the way around. So let's see, Carter Cemetery. Over 70 members of the Carter family rest in the cemetery, spanning multiple generations and two centuries of continuous ownership. Graves are arranged in a linear pattern, although none are marked with an inscribed headstone. Cemetery includes the graves of Landon Carter Jr., the builder of Pennsylvania, and his son-in-law, Dr. Isaac Henry, whose widow, Judith, would be killed during the First Battle of Manassas. That's Dr. Isaac Henry. So that's the husband of the lady who was killed on Henry Hill there. Last interment in the cemetery occurred in 1903. So let's take a peek here. Yeah, you can definitely see the, the ripples where the sinkholes are from the, uh, the graves here. Over 70 members of the family are buried here. There's a field stone right there. There's a few here and there, just kind of popping up out of the ground a little bit. There's a couple out there. Look at this hand stacked stone wall. And these are not mortared in place either. These are just 
free rocks. Hand stacked. That's a lot of work. A ton of work. There it is from the other end. The Carter Cemetery at Pennsylvania. Out in the woods here at the Manassas Battlefield. Moving on to our next site. We're coming up on the stone bridge at the battlefield. It's going to be the last site today. So here's where we are on the map. Right here. Now we went earlier. We started here. We went to the Henry house. Into the stone house. We went to the Carter, Pennsylvania area. And we are now over here at the stone bridge. So that's what we're going to check out. This bridge was the original Route 29 bridge for up until the 1960s, at which point they built the new road and the new bridge. So they've got this little overpass, overhang, overview, overlook thing going on here that didn't used to be here. I'll peek at the signs here. So you can pause the video right there and take a look at that. Same thing here. Oh, Confederate troops blew up the original bridge in March 1862. The current structure dates to 1884. So now we can peek at it here. From up above. And you can see the Route 29 bridge up above it. That's the new road. But that is the original, that's the stone bridge, the rebuild from 1884. We'll go down and get onto the bridge now. It looks real good here. I don't I don't suspect it looked all this nice in uh, 1862 when the soldiers were walking across it. In fact, I've seen pictures of it then that it didn't have these side walls either. So it was just kind of a flat topped crossing of the river. And over here, you can see the, the new road that took its place. Fairly sizable little river here. Sometimes when the rains are up high, it can be, uh, that water can be mighty deep and fast moving. Now the trail runs up along the river, but we're just gonna go down here and look under the bridge. Down here, you can kind of see how the water's moving along through here. And if it were a heavily raining day, that water could be really moving and rushing through there. Look at that ice on the other side over there. But hey, this is the stone bridge at the Manassas Battlefield. Blown up in 1862 and rebuilt in 1884. And now you know what the stone bridge looks like. So this is the end of today's video. Until the next one, you guys have a great day.